Good morning, I am Cheryl Myers, I live in Bentley. Today's thought for the day is Psalm 30 and I'm reading from the NIV. I will exalt you Lord, for you lifted me out of the depths and did not let my enemies gloat over me. Lord my God, I called to you for help and you healed me. You Lord brought me up from the realm of the dead, you spared me from going down to the pit. Sing the praises of the Lord, you his faithful people. Praise his holy name. For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favour lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. When I felt secure, I said, I will never be shaken. Lord, when you favoured me, you made my royal mountain stand firm, but when you hid your face, I was dismayed. To you, Lord, I called. To the Lord, I cried for mercy. What is gained if I am silenced? If I go down to the pit, will the dust praise you? Will it proclaim your faithfulness? Hear, Lord, and be merciful to me. Lord, be my help. You turned my wailing into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy that my heart may sing your praises and not be silent. Lord, my God, I will praise you forever. Now, you'll be relieved to know that my thought for the day today is short and sweet. The Psalms, um, there are lots and lots of them, a large number of them um, were written by David, including the one that we're looking at today. Now, I tend to veer away from the Psalms. Um, I, I like them and there are some that I find incredibly powerful. But as a body of work, I find them really difficult to connect with. And I know, I suspect I'm in the minority. Most people seem to love them, turn to them in, um, in difficult times. I find them... Um, I can think of lots of words, but I find them, I, I, I find them difficult. What I do love about them, though, is the grit, the reality. And today, as I was reading this psalm, it struck me that actually the psalms are a really good distinction between praise and prayer. So the psalms are a really good distinction between praise and prayer. So I thought this morning I would have a little think about what that might mean. Praying. Praying is essentially talking to God. It means presenting requests, giving thanks, sharing pain, sharing despair, sharing, share, sharing gratitude. It's a two way conversation with God and it's an essential part of our relationship. And what about praising? Well, I found this definition of Christian praise. The joyful thanking and adoring of God, the celebration of his goodness and grace. So it's joyful thanking. It's adoring of God. It's a celebration of goodness and grace. So you'll notice that there's one thing absent. Praise doesn't involve requests. Praise is about taking your focus off yourself and reflecting it back onto God. So in spite of what's going on in our own lives, it's about turning our attention heavenward. As a result of sin in the creation story, our attention then turned inwards. There's that powerful moment where Adam suddenly realises he's naked. He's suddenly inward focused. He's aware of himself. But preceding that, we were not created to be like that. We were created to have our attention heavenward. And so praise is about turning to God and exhaling, even in the middle of the most difficult circumstances. And we can do that because there is a certainty to the Lord's faithfulness, to his comfort and his joy, because morning always follows night. Praising about, is about keeping your focus on God because God says he will see you right through, even if that means bringing you home.
he'll bring you home safely. And praise brings us to a place of humility, because when we give our attention to the one and only person who's truly able, we turn it away from all other things. And what we can see in this psalm today, in Psalm 30, is that David is rejoicing, even though he's been through great trials and times of difficulty. And so here comes the question. Are you praising or are you praying? Are you praising or are you praying? I can answer that only for myself and say that I have a tendency to pray. I pray a lot. I often think God sometimes would like me to just shh, quieten down a bit, say a bit less. Um, but I pray all the time about all sorts of things, about myself, about the people I love, about the world around me. I do give thanks, but I also present a lot of requests. Today, I feel challenged to think that I need to praise more, not just worshipping in my kitchen when I'm cooking another rather bland supper for my children, but actually to turn my attention to a different sort of praise, to praise in my prayer life, to praise and acknowledge God's greatness in different ways, to turn my attention away from myself and turn it heavenward. So my prayer today is that each and every one of us would be a people of praise. Amen.